What do you think most of when you reflect back on your time at UD? I could really shape what I wanted to do and make my own degree program. But I also took courses in, you know, medieval history and things I was interested in too. But I was kind of a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you're really passionate about something, I think that's different from being a nerd. I think one of the major things that I learned in that department was the great utility of going into the field. You know, one of the things that attracted me to geology was that you had to think and construct a history from, you know, a rock or an outcrop. And that's hard to do uh, when you're inside looking at a book. Yeah, experience is everything. There's only so much that you can learn inside a classroom. I really enjoy the people I work with uh, because I go to the field with them and we share lots of experiences in the field. And um, I think that builds strong bonds that uh, last the test of time. I feel like I have friends and now, you know, with all the students and postdocs, you know, I have sort of children scattered all over the world. <laughs> I was one of the first women to come through some of the science programs I went through. I think had I been less sure of what I wanted to do and confident that I could do it, I could have been discouraged at many different points in my career. One of the good things that's happened is that there's opportunity for everybody to get educated, not just uh, people who can afford things. What's normal has changed a lot since I was uh, an undergrad. And uh, that's a great thing. We just have to keep it going and try to not make assumptions about people and especially not underestimate them or what they can do. That's beautiful. I really like that.